Welcome back, friends. Welcome to the final day in the 30-day yoga series. Get on your mat. I am grateful for each and every one of you for tuning in every day. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I hope that it has encouraged you to live your yoga off of your mat in your everyday life and that you take the time each day to find some self-care some positivity in every day, and most importantly, taking the time for some stillness to undo all the doing in your life. Let's start in the supine position, laying down on your back. Stretch your legs out in front and use your elbows to lower on down. Take a few moments to tune into your breath. Take an inhale through the nose and breathe out. Begin to look inwards as you begin to let go of your to-do list and the outside world. Find an even flow in and out your Ujjayi breath. We'll start the practice today with a little bit of movement to settle the mind can reach the arms up and overhead on the inhalation and back towards the wall behind you. Exhale, bring the arms up towards the sky and down by your sides. And the next time your arms come down by your sides, turn the palms to face up. As we start this moving meditation, take a sigh out through the mouth. And start to notice how your body's Beginning to slow down and the mind is finding some space. Bring the right knee into the chest. Take a big breath in. Soften in the belly and the left hip flexor. Stretch the arms overhead and the leg away. Bring the left knee in. You can let go out through the mouth anytime. Stretch the arms overhead. Bring the knees into the chest. Take a nice big breath in. Maybe bring the chin and the nose up to the knees. Exhale and release. One more time, inhale and exhale, release. You can roll to the side and push yourself up or start to roll forwards and back on the mat. Cross your legs and come all the way up onto hands and knees. Take the knees wide, untuck the toes. We'll come into child's pose. You can turn the palms to face up Tuning inwards, setting an affirmation for our practice today. I am capable of achieving greatness as I step into my full potential. You can come back to these videos over and over again. When you're feeling ungrounded, turn your palms to face down, rise up hands and knees and press back to downward facing dog. Whenever you're feeling a little ungrounded or uneasy, maybe you have a lot on your plate, you can bring the big toes to touch at the back of the mat, reach the right leg back, bring the heel to the glute and move your right knee out to the side, opening the hip. Try to keep your shoulders level as you look under your left armpit, look for your right toes. Stretch the leg back, step the foot forwards between the hands for low lunge, untuck the toes, inhale, reach the arms overhead. As you step off your mat and live your best life, you are capable of anything you set your heart to. Release your hands down, press back for down dog. Lift the left leg back and up. Bring the heel to the glute. Move the left knee out to the left. Start to open your hip. Drop the left shoulder. Look for your toes over to the right side under your armpit. Stretching the side of the body. Stretch the leg back. Knee comes to the navel and set the foot down. Low lunge, untuck the toes. Inhale, reach the arms up. Moving with your breath off of your mat. Finding those moments to pause in your day, 
Maybe you sit and take three or five breaths. Exhale, release the hands down. Step back for down dog. You can rise onto your toes and walk up to the top of the mat for Uttanasana. Inhale, hands to the shins. Offer your heart forwards. Soften your eyes. Exhale, fold. Reach the arms out and up. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart space. Inhale, reach the arms up. Twist to your right side. Left arm reaches forwards, right arm back. Inhale, up. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, left foot steps back for high lunge. Bring the arms up and overhead. Left knee can stay slightly bent, hands to the heart. Bring the left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. Feel free to set the back knee down on the ground. Finding those moments that feel a little uncomfortable off of your mat and finding some space and ease. Exhale, release the hands down. Step forwards and keep the back foot lifted. Can you put your hands on the ground? Balance on your right foot. Look down your chest and look at your left toes. Try to keep your left hip equal with your right hip. Maybe you bring the forehead down towards the shin, lifting the left leg a little higher. You can take the right hand behind the calf and release left foot down next to right foot. Half lift, inhale, exhale and fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, fold to the ground, Uttanasana. Right foot steps back. High lunge, inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart. Hinge forwards and come into a twist. Right elbow to the outside of the thigh. Lift the chest. Remember to modify if you need to. Modify off of your mat. When you feel your breath is being restricted what can you do differently in your day to have less stress? Come back to the center, release the hands down. Small steps forwards, lifting the back leg from the inner thigh, pressing the left inner thigh back. Maybe the head comes down towards the leg. Maybe the left hand goes behind the calf. It's all a possibility, maybe today or tomorrow. Release the right foot down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale and fold. Urdhva Hastasana, rise up. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Inhale, arms rise up. Exhale and fold. Left foot steps back for warrior one. Rise the arms out and up. Let's take three breaths here. Feel your back heel, let it be a reminder to root and ground each day. Feel your feet, feel your breath, and observe what's going on in this moment. One more inhale, lower your hands down, spin onto the ball mound of the back foot, and we're gonna straighten this front leg as much as you can into this modified pyramid pose. Reach the top of the head forwards, Pull your pinky toe back. Pull your right hip back. Maybe fold over the leg a little bit. Inhale, offer the heart forwards. Exhale and fold, moving from the heart. A couple of ripples here. And exhale. And exhale. Bend your front knee. So from here, you can take your hands to the inside of the foot, walk your right foot to the outside of the mat, put your back knee down on the ground, turn your right toes out, 
Bring the right hand onto the inner edge of the right thigh. Start to turn to your left. You might roll onto the pinky toe edge side of your right foot. Lift the heart. Maybe stretch the right arm overhead. Maybe stretch the arm back behind you. Perhaps catch your left foot. Leaning back, trusting yourself. You are stronger than you think. Reach the arm overhead, release the hand down, lift up off the back knee and go to your downward dog. You're welcome to take child's pose, sigh out through the mouth. Walk your feet forwards, take an inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale and fold. Inhale, reach the arms up and bring the hands to the heart. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale and hinge forwards. Right foot steps back, setting up for warrior one. Inhale, take three breaths. Feel the chest moving a little bit to the left. Pause every day. Find a little positivity, a little positivity in each moment. Release the hands down, spin onto the ball mound of the back foot, lower the knee, hands come on the inside of the foot, walk the left foot out, turn the toes out. You might stay here. Left hand onto left inner thigh, pinky toe edge side of the foot. Bring the left arm up. Maybe reach it back. Maybe catch the foot. Lean back. Open your heart. Let your heart guide you. One last breath in and slowly release. Left hand down, right knee up. Step back, down dog. Breathe out through the mouth. Kind of come forwards into up dog so you can untuck your toes and keep the arms slightly bent. Press down through the fingers, press into the tops of the feet, draw the arm bones back. One more breath. And exhale, come into child's pose. Forehead to the ground. Let's return to our intention. Turn the palms to face up, receiving what you're offering out there. I am capable of receiving greatness as I step into my full potential. Let's bring the hands down, lift the chin and the chest, bring the knees together, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart space. Let's bring the legs around to the front now. And we'll bring the hands behind. Place your right ankle on top of the left thigh. Curl the toes back. Round the back a little bit. Lift the left toes off the ground and begin to extend the spine for a little bit of a hip opening pose. You can pivot a little bit from left to right. And then pause and breathe. It's difficult to let yourself shine and open to your fullest potential. If you're feeling stuck and heavy and negative, remind yourself to get back onto your mat, put on one of these videos and start all over again. Start fresh every day with your breath. Release, right leg comes out, left leg comes over the top, curl the toes back, lift the right toes, and begin to extend the spine. Get outside if you can, connect with nature. Go sit on a bench in a park, looking up at the sky for a few minutes, breathing letting all the drama pass by. 
Remind yourself what you are capable of doing. Come back to center, release the legs down in front of you. Stretch the arms out, slowly roll down onto your back. Reach the arms overhead. Take a nice big stretch. Bring the arms down by the sides. Bend both of your legs. Cross the right leg over the left like eagle legs. Move your hips to the right. Let both knees fall over to the left. Take the right arm out to the right and the left hand on the belly. Turn your head to the right. Connect with all that wisdom that you have within. Remind yourself what you can do, what your goals are, what your purpose is. Let's come back to center. And we'll twist the other way, just unwind, stay with your breath, move your hips over, left leg over the right, both knees drop over to the right, left arm comes out, right hand onto the belly, and a few breaths. Come back to center and bring your hips to center, stretch your legs out. We'll come into Shavasana now. Turn the palms to face up, close your eyes, sigh out through the mouth. Relax your legs, relax your arms. Nothing else matters right now. Remember, you stepped onto your mat. You made this time for you. You deserve it. Everything else can wait for a few more minutes. Now, as you let your body go, Relax the eyes, your tongue, your cheeks. Look into your heart, in between your lungs. Find that beautiful space within that shines bright. Sometimes it's a little dim, but once you recharge and reset and find balance, your light shines once again. You can start to hear my voice and feel your energy. Start to move your hands and your feet. Turn your head a little bit from left to right, right to left. Reach the arms overhead. See if you can wake up each morning this way by feeling your breath, by starting to move your body slowly move into third gear, fourth gear, instead of jumping right into fifth gear. Come on to your side, take a couple of moments. It's easy to stay on the hamster wheel of life and continue in our regular patterns. The advanced practice is slowing down, making time for you, making time for self-care, releasing stress, and listening deep within, listening to your higher self to help guide you in your life, on your journey. Use your hands, push yourself up. Come into a nice, easy seat or a kneeling position. You can bring your hands onto your knees. Turn your palms to face up. Close your eyes. Imagine a hoop around your torso and try to breathe into that space.
connecting back to your affirmation. I am capable of achieving greatness as I step off my mat into my full potential. Let your hands come back to your heart space. I wish you all the best on your journey in life. Remember to slow down, to breathe, and let your heart guide you. Namaste. Thank you for joining this journey. I really hope that it has brought you some inspiration and motivation. Please remember to share with your friends, come back to the practice, like the videos, and subscribe to the channel right here. I'll be back to my weekly videos. See you soon.